So I found this Snow White doll in the flea market. She has this button which doesn't work unfortunately, but let's see if it works later. Now I use a hairdryer to pop off the doll's head. The heat will expand the plastic around the neck and it should just pop off really easily. Like that. Pop. There you go. Normally I would wash the dolls. However, because this one has a microphone at the back, I have decided to use household wet wipes just to clean her. Um, they work really, really well. So I might keep doing this going forward actually. Much easier. About to remove the batteries, I'm hoping there's no corrosion and that it's still in good condition so that if I replace it, it should hopefully work. For one of my favourite things, chopping the hair, I really really enjoy this because it's just really fun to see and to do just to chop off all of this extra hair. And she has got a lot of hair. Chop chop chop, chop chop chop, chop chop chop. chop. One of my favourite things, chop chop chop. All gone. Bye bye. So I use pliers to remove the hair from the inside. It's probably the easiest thing to do. And you're left with a bald head. So I am using this beautiful brown hair I got online. I'm just going to match my doll's head to the colour. I am painting the roots in acrylic paint. As you can see, I want to make sure I cover all of it, just so it doesn't show through the hair. I am using nail polish to put over the acrylic paint. This stops the paint from cracking when I am rerouting the hair, so it just gives a nicer finish. I am using the awl to make the holes bigger. Um, just so that it's easier to use the rerouting tool when I'm placing new hair in. I fold my hair in half and I use my rerouting tool to pull it into the hooks at the end. I then push it through the holes and just like that, it's in. Voila! So this took me about four to five hours worth of work, but I do think she looks amazing with new hair. Completely different. Now use a very high tack glue to secure the hair. Make sure that it dries hard. After it's dry, you should get something looking like this. She looks a bit crazy, but I will make it better. So use a damp cloth I put over her head and I will press this into place with a little iron. Now after a couple of moments you'll get something looking like this. She does look a bit of a mess, but I will make it look better in a moment. After I've brushed the hair into a style that I like, I will hold it into place just like this and I'll give it another steam. And voila! Now she has a lovely, lovely hairstyle, much better than before. Now it's time to chop, 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 chop. Now because I really like the hair with the makeup, I've decided not to do anything with the face. Now I'm going to make her a nice little outfit using this tartan that I have. Just finish up with tying the ribbon behind her neck. 
I'm going to make this doll some nice earrings, but first off I need to pierce her ears. So I have one of these and just pierce it nice and easy. For this you'll need eye pins, diamond chains and some jump rings. Cut the diamond chain to a certain length that you required. I have gone for 10 crystals. Use a jump ring and attach it to one end of the diamantes and at the other end of the eye pin. Now cut the end of the eye pin. I could leave about 1cm, maybe 1.5cm. Curl it off with your pliers. Now this should be good enough to securely fit into the area. Now I bought some new batteries, uh, these are brand new ones, I'm going to put them back in and see if it works, hopefully it does, so I'm just screwing it in, into place, and no, no it does not work, Meh. oh well, now it's time for shoes, 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 and more shoes, which one should I go for? Hmm. So I'm gonna go for these lovely black boots because I think it goes with the skirt. Kind of that kind of glam rock kind of look to it. And hopefully they fit. So before you have Snow White. Now you have Fashion Model. Yay!